Uh, what's going on everybody? Trevor Salzman here. We're on Cagorno Golf and the video that we're going to go into today is how to stop hitting behind the golf ball. And we're going to go into a very simple logical concept why people do this, how we can minimize it, and we're going to give you a drill inside of this to start making your contact better. So I think the first thing when we go into why a player might be hitting behind the golf ball, we need to check certain variables. I would say the first variable that we can make adjustments to very quickly to stop hitting behind the golf ball is setup. So if I look at in my everyday teaching, what I would see out of a lot of players who struggle with contact issues, typically we would see the pelvis start too far on the right side, number one. Number two, we would see the grip handle in line with the golf ball or even sometimes behind it. So when we get too much pressure back here, and this is, I think this becomes, because we as people are trying to get the golf ball up in the air, and we feel like being back here, this is going to help us launch the golf ball up. The problem is, that brings the turf into play before the golf ball comes into play. So rather than rebuilding your entire motion, I think we should take common logic into this. And let's firstly learn how can we make consistent contact, which regardless of what the ball flight is, that is going to make golf more enjoyable. And that'll, be, that'll put you in a direction to where we can actually start getting better at playing the game and we can start making changes if we need to furthermore after that. We're going to partner with Lab Golf and I wanted to try these putters out on the golf course and literally putted the best that I have in my entire life. I've been seeing the ball go in the hole for the first time in a long time. I'm freaking confident on the greens for the first time in a long time. The game's a lot more fun and I didn't change anything. I haven't been practicing more. I didn't change my stroke. I literally just changed putters. That is so exciting for me. We're gonna partner with Lab Golf and Sam as a thank you to them and hopefully to get you one of these in your bag as well. Maybe I know that you're gonna love these. So I think the value is incredible. It's an investment, right? They're not cheap, but with the 10% off code and with how long I think you're gonna use these, uh, I think the value is really high. I'm sure you spend a lot of money on drivers and things like that are expensive too. Um, but I'm gonna plan on using these for the next like 10 years. So when you do the math that way, I think it's a freaking steal. And you wanna putt better and you're looking for a putter. I've never used a putter that's this good ever in my life. And I know that you're gonna love it as well. Lab Golf will be in the description down below. Use code Cagorno, get 10% off. I hope that you'll try one and that you'll be as exciting about your putting and your game as I am about mine. So the first place that I would start when you get into setup right here, if we said the ball position is somewhere in line with the middle of our feet, the first thing that I like to do is if we're hitting behind it, that means we have pressure backwards. The next place that I'm gonna go then to minimize that is I'm going to shift pressure forward. And there's a very specific way that I would say that we need to shift pressure forward. So if we call this line right here for ball position one sec, if this is the center of me, I'm not shifting pressure forward by moving my upper body in front. That is only going to worsen the situation. That's probably gonna make us firstly start by having to move behind it. Now we've got the eyes everywhere, contact is still going to be an issue. So the way that we're going to move pressure forward is if I had this right here, running down the center of me, running down this stick in the center of my feet, I'm going to shift the pressure of the pelvis forward while I am keeping my head here on center. So you can see this is putting me into a little bit of a spine tilt. So that's the first place is now the pressure because of where the pelvis is. I probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 to 65 percent of my weight on my lead side which would leave us with 40 to 35 percent on our trail side. Now the next place that we need to go into is where are we going to position the golf club? Because remember this, the golf club is what is going to be making contact with the golf ball. So when we understand the golf club, we have what I would call low point. So low point runs from the ball joint of the left shoulder, and this would be where the lead arm and the shaft, they would form a radius. So if I dropped this straight down and we put this up here and we called this low point, 
Well, the only thing that I'm going to shift now back to where the golf ball is, is I'm going to shift the club head back there. This is now keeping the grip in front of the club head. My pressure is now forward, and I would be in a position if I started off hitting half shots, and I returned this to my starting point, I would be in a position to where the center of my body is now in front of the golf ball. This is going to help us control low point and contact and I would have the handle of the grip leading to where it's in front of the club head. So where I would start is I might hit a couple just from right here, just going back hip high to hip high, making contact. So pressure of my pelvis is forward. Grip handle is here on this white line, which is representing low point, and I'm going to pitch this. And there would be my very first place to control contact. Now, as we start to move it into a longer length of motion, this is where it'll probably start to get a little bit trickier. So, when we move it into a longer motion, I think it's important again to have feedback whether we do something right or whether we do something wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take another golf ball here. I'm gonna measure this one, two, three club heads from toe to heel length behind where this golf ball starts. So now if I'm here, we know this, you're probably the person that is active with your hands because we've been back here trying to throw the club head at it. Well, if we do that now, we're gonna end up running into this golf ball before we hit this golf ball. So our plain and simple very first goal is going to be to strike this golf ball without striking this golf ball. So my rehearsal right here, pelvis is forward, grip handle is here. So remember again, this is low point. I'm just moving the club head back. Now I'm bringing my trail arm in. You can also see how my elbow is pretty close to my midline. If my elbow sits back, the grip handle is gonna sit back so we can slide this elbow in a little bit. Let's run through a rehearsal. So we'd be here, bring it back down behind the ball. Missing that, I'm gonna do that one more time. Bring it back down behind the ball. That would ensure that I would be hitting the golf ball first, and then we'll go with it. 60-40, handles forward, elbows in front. And that right there was a perfect golf shot. So there would be a very simple way that you could start to work on bettering your contact by simply making logical change to your setup with the pelvis where you are going to position the grip with low point and there's a very simple feedback station so if you guys have any questions on this video please leave those in the comments down below thank you for watching we'll see you next time